Hey guys, we're playing some Super Auto Pets on the test server, actually. I didn't even think I would do gameplay videos anymore on this channel. I honestly thought it was only going to be high effort stuff, which I've got more of that coming, and I'll talk about that later. But I had so much fun on the test server today, I felt I had to talk about this. So yeah, today we're going to be checking out a few of the new pets that are in the test server. If you don't know, test server just got a massive update with 51 new pets or units um and more than that with units including foods and stuff and today we're going to be talking about three kind of four of them uh, the first you can see is already on my team that is the long waddled umbrella bird it is a tier one pet and if you're noticing it's not doing anything it's because i don't have it behind anything but what long waddled umbrella birds do is they give dazed, which is an ailment that stops an ab a pet's ability from going off, to one, two, or three pets ahead. Now, how is it useful to just stop a pet's ability? Uh, we'll get to that. Uh, I'm going to be pairing it with the frigate bird, which replaces ailments with rice. Now, there are ways to use the waddled umbrella bird where dazed is genuinely helpful to you. But in this case, I'm using it purely to get rice from my umbrella or from my frigate bird. You also notice the tardigrade on this team. It is not really a star, in, at least in this video, but it is quite the fun pet. And we'll see. Maybe I'll do a tardigrade video if people like this test server video. But yeah, I've got a level two frigate bird and a level two umbrella bird, which is what I was going for. And now I just pulled in a trout. Now you just noticed it gains stats. That's because trout's ability is that. Whenever something sells for three gold, it gains plus one, plus two, plus two, plus four, or plus three, plus six in stats. Which, in my opinion, is a really strong ability. I think it'll probably be tuned down a little bit. It's a tier three, so it's a little strong for a tier three, I think. I, I think it's a little better than Buffalo, and it's a tier below. So, say what you will about that. And uh, if you can't tell already, Here's the build I'm going for. Two whatever filler pets that I give rice to, which makes all of them, both of them sell for three gold. And then getting a level two trout as fast as possible. And now with a level two trout, I am gaining plus four plus eight. Or uh, plus four plus, uh, yeah, plus four plus eight in every turn, which is really strong for turn seven where plus four plus four from like a penguin would be like a, a pretty nice buff and so you're gonna see me here just pulling in whatever um soon i'll be pulling in something called a gelata that's a new monkey i'll explain how that works when it shows up but you can see i am just decimating at the moment i i'm i'm doing quite well and i think this turn i am already like halfway to like 50 50 not quite there is the gelata. The way the gelata works is once it eats two foods, it transforms into a sleeping gelata, so its ability can't go off anymore because it's a new pet. Um, but the sleep sleeping gelata, one or er, I guess sleeping gelata doesn't do anything. But when it's being transformed into one, it gives everyone pairs, one, two, or three pairs. That's quite good. That's plus eight, plus eight uh, for six gold, which is quite nice, especially when I'm effectively starting turns with uh, 17 gold. Now I have to buy two pets, so you can kind of select get rid of however much you'd like. It's a strong... I, I mean, I, I could just sit here and say strong, strong, strong the whole time, but point is, I'm having a blast. Now, the trout isn't the only thing that's happening. Uh, I'm actually doing two builds in one uh, match here. And you'll see slip here. This isn't really a plan, but I'm gonna try to find a Competo next turn in order to transform my uh, trout into something else. Um, and you can see here, I just pulled in a Margosaurus, another one of my favorite. <laughs> after getting that sleeping gelato, which is nice. But um, a Margosaurus, <laughs> I'm already at 3250. Sorry, I'm scatterbrain. You guys know this by now. Um, a Margosaurus is a healing pet. It gives. 15, 30, or 45 health back after it's being lost, up to that much in a turn, so it won't exceed the pet's original health. 
Um, and you see here, I can Peto into a Hippo, and that's kind of the second thing we're going for now. Hippo at the moment, I'm not sure if it's a test server thing or a live server thing, but Hippo only has three triggers. But we're kind of going to make Hippo just have uh, a lot more better triggers now. This wasn't the plan, but it's what ended up happening, and it, it's, uh, it's fun. Here I'm pulling in the Grizzly because we're going to be getting a lot of attacks off. And I pull in the White Cap Mushroom. Now, as of recording, this is a brand new food uh, added today. And it transforms the pet ahead into the pet that's holding it at the start of battle. Uh, which is nice. Now, it's only at level 1, which is nice because I think level 3 would be a little too strong. But, I mean, this just sweeps. And even though we're about to have none of the pets that we originally had, there's another Tardigrade cameo for you. And Brussels Sprouts, which is a nice thing that prevents push or takes up to 5 damage away. Just a, just a handy little thing. Now, here, it's just a snipe team. Hopefully, snipe becomes an archetype. I haven't mentioned archetypes here, but there's a new way to balance packs from being too consistently full of one archetype. Um, and I'm hoping that snipes end up becoming an archetype. But if they don't, I'm sure the devs do know best. <laughs> But regardless, here I've got effectively, what, 60 health being healed per match with that many Amargosauruses. Uh, and it's going to become up, I think, 75 once I level up this next Amargosaurus. We get a skunk here too, which will just barely go off before the Amargosaurus turns it into another Amargosaurus. Which is just some more great value. And we actually go up against one ourselves and a spider crab, which is a fun little guy that... I don't know, he's there. He's fun. And we are able to win this and close that out. Now, I have been working on something cool. Maybe I'll show you a little sneak peek of that. Um, I have been busy. I haven't given up on this or anything. But yeah, that's all, and thanks for watching.